I am joined by Drs. Ben and Aaron Schrader here at the Nebraska State FFA Convention. If they look familiar to you, you likely recognize them from their TV show, Heartland Docs DVM. Or if you caught the first general session of convention last night, they, were, they gave the keynote address. Um, for those who missed your keynote presentation, what are some high-level takeaways you hope students walked away with? Well, I think the big one is to really be okay with all of the changes that you're going to have in your life. You know, we, we really based our speech a lot on some basketball and pivoting, and that when something doesn't work out, it's not a failure. It's just that you need to pivot and approach it from a different direction or do something else. Absolutely. Well, we just finished um, a very packed Q&A session here this morning. Um, what are some insightful questions you received from students or some information that you were excited to share? Well, I think a lot of the students were curious about our lives, how we manage our time, how we get along after all these <laughs> years of doing this job together. And um, it's fun to reminisce and, and tell people our story because it is kind of a unique one with us renovating buildings and doing a lot of things in our community. And then that kind of exposed us to TV and, and everything, how we got here. And how we got here and, and our agriculture uh, background that's, that's the fun part about being here at FFA. Um, we get to be in a room full of young, excited people that want to um, explore agriculture, and it couldn't get any better than that. Yeah, there's just a lot of great questions. I think there's a lot of future veterinarians in the room, um, and so it was really nice to just explain the process and, and let them know that it's all, it's all going to be okay and that this is a great profession to enter. A, a lot of the students are really curious about our journey of becoming veterinarians or getting into school because they want to know what classes they should take, um, how much experience they really need, and I think those are great questions. Absolutely. So circling back to the TV show, I mean, I grew up, my mom's a veterinarian, so I've had a front row seat to that. Um, but certainly being a veterinarian in a rural setting is a unique experience. What do you hope that people are taking away from the TV show, um, either about the veterinary profession or just practicing in a rural setting? Well, I think one of our main goals when we said yes to doing the TV show was actually that we depict agriculture and owning livestock and the Midwest accurately. And so I hope that we have done that. I feel that we have with our show is to give people that, that know and then others that may not know really what it is to be a Midwesterner and what it is to have livestock and care for the animals because there's so much care for the animals. But yes, being a rural veterinarian has its own unique challenges. Uh, we live in a town of 1,500 people. Everyone knows everyone. And uh, that's the good and the bad part about living here. You know, um, uh, you're going to walk across to the diner and, and, and say hi to everybody. And maybe you just treated their, their animal and, and something bad happened. So you or maybe they have a question. Or maybe they have a question oh, and they, they need to ask you. Week, yes. Doc. I, I, what do, and what do I do next? <laughs> but we love that part about it, too. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So beyond medicine, you obviously care deeply about your rural community. Um, how important is it uh, for these young people to be invested in their rural communities and, and want to come back and do the same thing? For, for these small communities that we live in and rely on in, in Nebraska and all throughout the Midwest, we need our youth to come back. And sometimes that takes some creativity um, from mom and dad or the people that are already there to have a place for people to come back to. And, um, but if you're resilient and our little town just won't die because people just keep coming back because there's, there's opportunities and jobs there in our little town of Why Not Nebraska. And I feel proud to live there and be from there because we make those opportunities for the youth. Absolutely. So as we round out our conversation, what is the most rewarding part of your profession and the things that you get to do each and every day? Well, I think saving and caring for animals goes without saying. Uh, but today was a pretty big highlight, being able to share our story and our enthusiasm and see all the enthusiasm of all these youth. Um, I, I think and this is a pretty big highlight. These are this was a room full of very exceptional special kids. Mm hmm. To have our son Chase here with us too um, has been very special. Yeah. Uh, he he is starting to open up, you know, become a young man, and you can just see it every day. Awesome. Well, once again, those are doctors Ben and Aaron Schrader from Heartland Docs DVM here at the Nebraska State FFA Convention.